Hey, what's up? Dave here, bringing you more Spyro 2. First off, uh, if you haven't, do subscribe and smack the bell so you never miss a thing. I got daily gaming stuff all the time. We are ending this. This is Ripto's Arena. This is the last boss of Spyro 2. We wrapped up Metropolis, and let's get this on with. Okay. She did it last time. Oh, there we go. The orb. Ripto is only moments away. Right? Oh, anyway, he's right through this door. Okay, cool. Choppy dialogue up till the end. My disc is so old. <laughs> So old, guys. I actually looked at the disc tray. It is so dirty. I gave it a little wipe down. I was hoping that it would make the dialogue better, but it did not. I think it's the disc, not the game. Spyro 1 did not have this problem. Sheep! I wonder if Alora's gonna be throwing me sheep this whole battle. Ah, come back here, you useless animals! Hey, Shorty! Maybe I can help. What?! You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Okay, let's do it! Ripto! And he's actually not like the little man who's cowering behind his big goons. He's tough! He's actually a tough guy. Really, he's a sorcerer. Sorry. We want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the power-up orbs to you as they become empty. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Rad! I love how they tied in that the main cast is helping you, even though you can't see them at all in this battle. Except Hunter. He's in the thick. And we got opera music! Also, I love how you can also stand still and he'll just chill. I just want him to laugh. Laugh! Okay, let's do this. Let's get this started. Ripto! Oh god, he's collecting orbs! So, he can collect orbs and get powers. You can collect orbs and get powers. I'm gonna try to show off each one. Okay, this is flame. The red one's my least favorite because it's a power you have. And I love his eyes. You can shoot super flames, and it's great. Wow, did I actually miss all of them? I wasn't trying to miss all of them. But I want to demonstrate some other cool ones. Also, I'd like to show off some of his, too. Because he has different ones that he'll do. Oh, that's red. I don't want red. You can have it. Yeah, ha ha ha. And he'll do kind of like similar to what Crush does in the battle with him. Ooh, this is a blue one. This one's kind of hard to manage against him because he's so tiny. But it's supercharged. And it's fun to kind of chase after him. Ugh! It takes skill to hit him with this one. That's why I like it a little bit more than the red one. If I was really trying, yes, I would have hit him with most of my red shots. Oh, gosh. Ah! And if you ever need to stop him for a second, you can give yourself a little bit of time by doing that. You can't do it multiple times in a row. Okay. Got it! Ah! Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite one. The green. That's my absolute favorite one, and I don't know why. Boom. All right. And you can only hit him with superpowers, as you can see. Me charging him. Ah! Me charging. Oh, gosh. I didn't know you were doing three. Yeah, you can charge him and do make the lag happen, too. Okay, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> uh, nope. I'll do it. I'll, fine, I'll do the super flame. Gotcha. Got him. Oh, is he still alive? Okay. And a sheep. Thanks, Hunter. What did he get? He got green? Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, that's bad gas. Alright. Yes, I can do this battle really fast, however I do kind of want to just enjoy it. Because it's cinematic if you let him get some power-ups and you get some different power-ups yourself. And you can get any orb you want, it's the third one that will designate the power you get. And he's not doing- You stop throwing red ones! Yay, a green one! I've already seen him do green, right? Okay, whatever. I'll end this. If he gets the blue one, he'll do like a barrier. No, hit him! Hit him! Hit him! There we go, now I got him. And... Mecha Gulp. I like Gulp, he's cool. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, Hunter, throw me some bones. Thank you. Oh gosh. 
Uh, sir? Duh! <laughs> Imagine if he just ate Spyro right there, and that was the end of it. No, that's mine. That's my- Okay, he's getting that. He's totally getting that one. Oh, it's a good one to get- let him get the red one, because he can actually- Ow! He can actually- you can hit him with his own red power-up. Stop that! Um, I want blue. Yeah. Okay, let's do blue. This is actually easier to hit because Gulp is really big. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't have another one. Typically, you'll get three hits on him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I could have gotten that one. This one's fireworks, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. So that's what the blue one for Gulp looks like. I love the detail that went into this boss battle. Holy crap, he's got two? Okay, fine. You want the green one? Go ahead. I forgot what this one even is. Oh, this is laser eyes, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, you done? Ah! He was moving right for that one. What am I gonna get? I already did blue. I already did blue! Hunter, throw something different. Throw me something different, Hunter. Hunter! Oh, what was that? Oh, cool. If I'm up in the air a little- Stop throwing blue ones! Ugh, he's only gonna leave three- Oh, gosh, I almost ran right into the lava. He's only gonna throw those- those three, isn't he? Okay, whatever. Fine! Want me to do blue? I'll do blue. Okay. Oh, no! Okay. Take this. Ah! No, that's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, green! I like the green. Let's do the green. This is a cool one. Hey, yeah, the gulp is actually, I would say, easier, because you can hit it a little bit easier. That's another cool thing about- I wonder what the green really is. Is it acid? Is it poison or something? Uh-oh. Wow. You could totally cheap that by being in the air when he when he spits that at you. There we go. Uh, gulp, you wanna eat that? You can have it. I don't like the fire. Why isn't he going for the orbs? Why isn't he going for the orbs? Fine, I'll take one. I haven't done super flame in a bit. Oh no! No more. I want to try to get him to do it himself. Yeah. I want to try to get him to kill himself. That'll be fun. Throw a red one. Hunter, throw a red one. That's not a red one. That's not a red one. Oh! <laughs> throw a red one. Is that a red one? Oh, that's green. No, I don't want laser eyes! You can't steal it, can you? Okay. Whatever. Oh, ouch. You got me. Whatever. Sloppy, sloppy. Hey, Gulp, wanna eat some orbs? I'm really prolonging this battle. Oh, start. Also, he's gonna throw any sheep at me? That'd be cool. Can I get a sheep? Okay. There we go. Hey, there we go. Oh, darn it. Give me a sheep. Okay, whatever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> wow, I actually, I was not trying to mess that up. I was just gonna be like, fine, take me. But I kind of want another sheep. Alright, there we go. Oh, he gave me one. Oh, is that a red one? Get, get the red one! Oh, it's a good boy! Oh, it's a good boy, Gulp! Yeah, I, I wanted to show this off. So he's gonna spit out a little flame guy. Yeah. And so... <laughs> you can totally just have him run right into it. That's great. Okay, I'm glad I finally got that to happen. Anyway, so- oh, no, Hunter, he's dying! <laughs> yeah, Hunter straight up dies. Well, not really, but anyway. And those gold orbs, I guess, Ripto can turn it into a bird and you can get ultimate power by hitting it. And he just straight up annihilates the arena, which is so sick. And now we're airborne, and I have infinite powers! Okay. And you, this is all- this is a super flame battle. This is why I don't like going for the- Super flame in the orb challenges because you can do this all the time. And it's a I love how it's a jet bird too. It's not really a, a thing. Anyway, you can go all the way up into the sky. I don't I forget how high you can actually go. That almost hit me. And you can go down and it looks like a big pizza or bowl of soup. Bowl of cheese soup. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna stop being silly. I'm sorry guys, I just like having fun with this battle. It's my childlike wonder. Alright, he's totally smacked me. Did you see that little Laffy did? I mean, it's as Laffy always does, but still, it's not cool. 
okay? You just gotta lead your shots each time. Because once you get too close, he's gonna try to s fly around. He's gonna start flying around pillars now. I miss him. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Alright. Go on. Oh, he's trying to fly at me now? Okay, he's gonna do that. Cool. Ha! Got your wing. You gonna fly around the thing? Oh, he flew through the thing! I saw that! Got him. Woo! Cool. <laughs> and now, hun now, uh, Ripto's getting burned alive. And that's that. Ten minutes in? <laughs> it's perfect. Of course, there's more to show. Ah, that was so good! Yeah, that could have been done in five minutes, by the way. I, I fully admit, that could have been done in five minutes. I just wanted to have some fun. And let's put the gem on the guidebook, because that's how that works. It looks like a gusher! It looks like a- remember fruit gushers? Question of the day, what was your favorite snack as a kid? Fruit gushers, fruit by the foot... I don't think we can ever thank you enough, Spider- Silly string? Oh, it was so good. Oh, a kiss! I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm, I most certainly do not. Hunter? Hey, Hunter, you're okay. Oh, jeez. Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? <laughs> Spyro's like, hell yeah! In the new coordinates, and there! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. So are they, the, like, the only government in this area? Because it seems like they are pretty much in charge through all three homeworlds. There's nobody else. And that's that! That is... Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, or if you're in the UK, Gateway to Glimmer. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. This Spyro trilogy is so awesome. Spyro 1, 2, and 3, they're all great. It kind of flips, it flip-flops for me which one I like more between Spyro 1 and Spyro 2. Spyro 2 is objectively a better game. It has more content, more interesting stuff going on, but there's just something I personally like about the simplistic charm of the first game. I always like games that are very simple and straightforward because you know exactly what to expect, what you're going to get, and I thought the art direction was on point. And it's on point in this game too. They upped the graphics, they upped everything. They give you a lot more to interact with, which kind of kills the isolationist feeling that the first game was so powerful for. However, of course, that created this vibe that you're fighting for something much bigger than yourself or your world in this. You're fighting across several different worlds. You're seeing how the effects of Ripto affected pretty much every little world in this. Everyone had a problem. And they weren't always directly related to Ripto. Like, I don't know if the Earth Shapers were in cahoots with him or the the gear grinders or the and the, the, the beer the breeze builders and the land blubbers are entirely different thing. But you kind of just get this feeling that you're this world is so huge and there's so much going on. And you're just kind of waiting your way through for what is the common thread in each level which is pretty much the orbs and talismans and that's what's helping you get your goal taken care of so everyone's got problems and so yeah that's what this game kind of focuses on and rather than a feeling of isolation it's a feeling of being a good samaritan and helping other people with their problems even though sometimes it looks like you're on the bad guy's side sometimes you actually are depending on if you're team breeze builders or team land blubbers because you're doing what you need to it's kind of Machiavellian in that sort of way. But here am I, waxing poetic and philosophic about Spyro the Dragon. Spyro 3 is even better. They go exploring even more themes because there's a threat of genocide in that one and infanticide, really, in, in Spyro 3. But we'll get into that one day. Trust me, we're definitely going to get into that. I have a feeling that disc is probably my best condition one, which is funny because my Spyro 1 disc runs better than this one, but it's because I played the crap out of this one. I remember when this was my absolute favorite Spyro game, 
And it's only a recent development, probably in the last five years or so, that I started liking the first one more, but again, it flip-flops between the two. I didn't play Spyro 3 nearly as many times as I've played 1 and 2, but I, I think it's in the double digits. If not, it's like 7 or 9 times I've played Spyro 3. It's another incredible game, and I still know it like the back of my hand, just like this one and the predecessor. So I can't wait to get into 3, but who knows when we're going to do that, right? But yeah, a little stroll through memory lane, all these different levels. I liked how nuanced each level was. I mean, every level, even in Spyro 1, had a theme. But this one, it's like more... It's bigger. It feels bigger. Sometimes the levels aren't even bigger. But they feel bigger. They feel more. Because you, you go through all these different paths, and they're so full of stuff that you gotta negotiate, that if you just charge the way back to the beginning, you're like, wow, that was actually a really small level. And the way they kind of loop in on themselves. Like how this level, Shady Oasis, had that big central area, and it kind of goes up vertically. And you could access the mid area from each floor, pretty much. Alright. And yeah, Tom Kenny did the voice of Spyro in this one, which is great. He's the voice of SpongeBob. There he is. I thought it was really cool how they brought this music track back too cuz this was the this was a theme used in the credits for Spyro 1 <laughs> and it's also used again in Spyro 3 it kind of really unites the three games in a cool way cuz the soundtrack it, this soundtrack it feels so Spyro 1 and you're like oh it does feel a little different even though it's the same composer anyway digress on that we're gonna end it off here. Because we're in Dragon Shores and we're gonna have our vacation time. This is a whole bonus area, pretty much. And since we pretty much saved Avalar, and yeah, you can go back to Winter Tundra anytime you like. And I love how this guy, he's a Nork. He's straight up Nork. Which kind of makes you wonder, did the dragons enslave Norks after we killed off Nasty Nork? Hey, it's one of the Magic Crafter dragons. I love that. And... That's one of the... It's either an artisan dragon or it's... No, he's got the horns. It's a... Beastmakers. Beastmaker dragon. That's so cool. Never caught that before. Oh, I learned so much new stuff every time I play. Also, what is your belt? Is it just stitched into your body? Anyway, a lot of questions. But yeah, he's like, did the dragons enslave the Norks and make them run an amusement park or something? They seem happy to be here. Anywho... Norks were the enemy in the first game, by the way. Anyway, in case you didn't know. But I'm going to end this off here. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to hang out for the next episode, we're just going to relax and do all that Dragon Shores has to offer. So I'll make sure that the next episode is the last one in this series. But this is the end of the game. This is the last boss, last action serious bit that we got to deal with. But there's still more stuff to explore. So we'll do that in the next one. For now... This is Dave out. Peace out. Thanks for watching.